parking that Porsche in front of my house. to drive. Oh well, look it's starting to rain just as we start. <clears throat> so me having another Macan to drive means that uh, my Porsche is in the shop getting finally getting that rear shock taken apart the top of the mount replaced that's cracked so it makes that squeaky clunking sound. So we'll do a little review on this one. Um, this one's definitely not as nice as the last one I had. This one's got uh, plastic in it. The other one was full leather. But it does have the sunroof. So, yeah. Let's check it out. Uh, that's not my Porsche. No. I have uh, two 911s. Oh, yeah. The black one's getting fixed. Um, check this out. It's a 2019 Macan. It's a base model but it has a sunroof, so it meets my minimum requirements. Look, it's all basic. Plastic, not leather. Oh. Usual stuff. Basic back there. Basic trim. Keyless go, keys in the pocket. Oh wait, check it out, the seat moves. I for totally forgot. When you get in the car, the seat moves to how you had it adjusted. When you turn the car off to get out, it uh, adjusts it all. Um, and I really like the fact that it does a, a soft start on the AC, um, so it doesn't blow hot air on you, which is pretty nice. Um, a little feature I never noticed before. See that it says 690 right there? That's the elevation I'm at. I'm at 690 feet elevation. That's pretty slick because I noticed when I picked the car up it said 12. So, uh, I should be growing coffee beans. No, we're still not at a high enough elevation. Interesting, 690. So some of you may remember that I borrowed a 2020 from the dealership and did a little mini review on this. So this one's a 2019. The other one had way more trim options. Um, this one is uh, a little closer to a base model. And it's probably uh, 25 to 30% less money. That was uh, an $85,000 Macan. This one's probably closer to 65. Um, drives nice though. I forgot how well these things drive. It's a much bigger car though. So like I have my little Mercedes GLA and I could get one of these, but I just fear when I go to park it, this is a bigger car. Um, but I do like the way it drives. I mean, uh, people do say they handle a little like a 911. No, but they have that very sharp steering feel. You know, this Macan's got a really sharp steering feel. Now, it's got a mushy gas pedal. Yeah, but it's also not too mushy. It's got like really good torque. Um, just not a lot of power. Um, this base model, I think, is 248 horsepower. I forget the torque, um, but it's probably somewhere around 280, 290. Um, so it, it drives actually kind of good. Um, it's super quiet in here. Hopefully, uh, the fact that it's quiet will uh, be able to be heard. Um, this one does have a Bose upgraded audio system, so it does have a few things. This wouldn't be a bad car to own. And it's white, which for some reason I just like white cars, even though I always keep telling myself I want a red car, I want a blue car, I want a green car. Okay, I didn't get it, it's not fast enough. But a bird flew in front of the car, the car started beeping and it showed 
there was like a little bird in front of the car and I was like what the don't hit the little car so the uh, surround view with a uh, assist that's awesome awesome Same style cap as my black Porsche, just the simple gray and black. Yep, it's a different day. Same car, 2019 Porsche Macan. Um, I would like to comment, dude, the steering is like super tight. And I don't mean physically tight like to turn the wheel, I mean like precise. really tight. I was not expecting it, you know? Um, some cars, you know, you just go down the road and you can wiggle the steering wheel a few millimeters back and forth, the car goes straight. No, 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 this is like tight. And uh, I like it. Damn them giving me this car to borrow. I like it. Kainoa, do you like this car? Yeah. Which car is better, Daddy's little Mercedes or this little Porsche SUV? The little Porsche SUV. Really? Oh man, that's awesome, but sad for me because I might have to buy it. <laughs> I, I kind of like to, because why do you like it? Because it's bigger or what? Or it's cleaner? It's bigger. So my car's not ready. So we're gonna look at this Macan a little closer. I've never looked under the hood. Well, you can see that it's a, uh, you can see it's a little engine in there. It's got this giant beauty plate. But there's another version of this car with a stuff in a six cylinder. Or a twin turbo six under, and you can see that there's clearly room. So there's the turbocharger, catalytic converter, the transmission. But I heard it's not an actual Porsche transmission, it's straight out of an Audi. The car has some slick type of cold air intake. So this is the air filter, and there's a track to the hood. It's a Porsche thing. Oh, so it comes. Look, so the air channels in through the hood, the air channels in through the hood, and it's diverted in through this passageway that would be pressurizing and feeding cold air into this intake, into the system. That's pretty slick, and you can see the lights, it's very easily accessible. The ABS system right there. Um, I don't know how hard it is to take this beauty plate off, it's not my car so I'm not going to worry about popping it off. But trying to look at the inner cooler if it's a liquid. I'm curious. Let's look at the front. Uh, oh no, there's the inner cooler on the bottom. So it does have an air to air inner cooler. Bottom. Really nice design. Really clean. Looks easy to work on. Gee, maybe I should consider one. Wait, 
I still have that car. What's that mean? It means the black car had another issue and they had to order a part. Found out <clears throat> the check engine light was due to some little fan called a secondary air injection pump. Thousand bucks for the pump. That's why the check engine light comes on if I let the car idle when it's cold. So I got this for another day or two or three. We'll see. I don't know. Could be worse, yeah. As far as a free rental goes, I'm going in style, brother. I like this Macan. All right, so let's see how this works. Um, the one touch. I press it again to have it open all the way. Oh, it's a different button. Oh, yeah. See, I could rock this car. I could totally trade my Mercedes in for this. We'll have to see how it parks, because if this isn't bad to park, I could be looking at a Macan. It wasn't too hard to park, but when I was driving it through the parking garage, it was chirping, especially in the Because the car has parking assist, it's a livable car. Um, of course, it drives awesome on the freeway. It drives great. And it's got such sharpness to the steering. It, I read someone, someone said it feels like a Porsche. It feels like a Porsche. Um, yeah. And I like how the plate says 991 on it. <laughs> so, yeah, my, my car is still at the dealer. They're waiting for the parts to come in. They had to overnight them, but they didn't show up overnight because that's what happens when you live in Hawaii. Things just don't come overnight. But all in all, it's good. I like my loaner. Hopefully tomorrow I'll get the black Porsche back. Okay, I take it back. See, I, even though this isn't that big of a car, but I'm having trouble parking it at the grocery store. Now, this is me because I suck. But, uh, yeah. It's a little bit bigger car and it's a little bit harder view to be a polite person to park the car. Yeah, my little Mercedes has got to be a good 12 to 14 inches narrower than this. So. And this isn't even the big one, so yeah. How do people drive a big ass Chevy? Good brother. 